Shot of the Empire State Building right here lit up in red, white, and blue right now as New York shows its strength after that terror attack. There have been many developments overnight. Want to get to Michelle Gallardo live up in the Alert Center right now. Michelle, what do we know? Terrell, we're going to start with the newest information coming in on the terror suspect. We just got new video of the truck the attacker used that has not been moved overnight. The investigators found a handwritten note inside in which officials say 29-year-old Saifulo Saipov claimed allegiance to ISIS. Now, we also learned that Saipov went through surgery after being shot in the stomach by a responding officer. He is expected to survive and will be questioned as soon as it is possible. The FBI spent the night searching his home. Investigators at this point calling the attack ISIS-inspired, saying that while Saipov's name has come up in the past as a possible associate of a suspect, he does not appear to have any direct links to the terrorist organization. As for the officer who stopped him, it's 28-year-old Ryan Nash, a five-year veteran of the NYPD. We're also finding out more about the victims. Five of the eight killed Argentinian citizens, a group of friends in New York, simply celebrating a high school reunion. A sixth victim is from Belgium. Also, 13 people are in the hospital, including two students and two staff from a nearby school. The police commissioner praised officers for their quick response. I want to commend the response for our NYPD officer that was on post near the location who stopped the carnage moments after it began. Extra security is being put in place in strategic points around New York City as a precaution only, officials telling us no further credible threat exists against the city at this time. They do believe the attacker acted alone.